Taros, welcome to my channel. My name is Sally, and this is going to be your love reading for the remaining days of November 2021. This is going to be a collective energies from all those born under this zodiac sign of Taros, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Only take what applies to your situation and leave the rest for others. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Holy Spirit, please clear an accurate love reading for Taros, please. Clear an accurate love reading for Taros. Clear an accurate love reading for Taurus, please, Holy Spirit. Clear, precise, and accurate love reading for Taurus. Clear, precise, and accurate love reading for Taurus, Holy Spirit. Taurus, okay. Taurus, you have very soon. For Taurus, please, Holy Spirit. For Taurus, you have unrequited love. I see. For Taurus, Holy Spirit, for Taurus, you have forgiving and learning. One more for Taurus, Holy Spirit, for Taurus. Okay, you have release your ex. All right, Taurus, this is time to let go of the past here. It's time to forgive, learn from your mistakes, and move on. There is no need dwelling in the past. There is no need crying over spilt milk. There is no need for regret and remorse. It's time to move forward here. We have reconciliation. So this person that you are being asked to move away from, this person that you're being asked to move, um, this person that you're being asked to heal from might be coming back here, Taros. We have true love here. I also see new love coming for you guys here. We have reconciliation. We have true love and getting to know each other. So this is the energy of someone new. So I feel like very soon, Taros, you could be torn between your past and um, a new person. Past person will be coming back and then you will have a new person. Because I see reconciliation here with past person. But very soon, someone new will be coming. So you would be torn here between two people, Taros. Okay, but for now, you are being asked to heal and move on from past um, situation. Let's see for Taros, Holy Spirit. For Taurus. For Taurus. Play an accurate love reading for Taurus, please, Holy Spirit. For Taurus. For Taurus, Holy Spirit. Taurus, love reading, please. I see a fire sign here, Iris energy precisely. This person could be someone coming or this could be someone that you need to heal from here. I see happiness here between you and this person here. I see some kind of happiness coming between the both of you. Holy Spirit for Taurus. I see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I see your finances getting off the ground. I see someone making you an offer here. Someone giving to you. Taurus, this could be gift. This could be an offer of their love. Okay, for Taurus. Mm, the six of wands. I see success coming your way, Taurus. You will be finding some kind of success, either in finances or in love here. Let's see for Taurus. Okay, this man is coming up again. Emperor. This man is a very, I said this in my last reading, and this man keeps coming up here. This man is a very wealthy man here, a very responsible and mature person. That would be coming your way. You can see here, he has come out like um three times here now or twice. It could be a he or a she here, Tharos. Um, thick as it uh, applies to your gender. But I see someone here, very wealthy, coming your way. This person is going to bring about a lot of happiness your way here. Let's see. This person is going to help you grow. Either financially or mentally, this person is going to change you completely. Let's see if it's Tharos, Holy Spirit. I see. Tharos, please, Holy Spirit. For Tharos, what do you have for Tharos, Holy Spirit? Okay, at the top of your deck here, we have the Fool. So this is a new beginning coming for you guys. Some of you, you need to let go of your past. You need to release your past. You need to heal. But I see this past coming back here. I see this past coming. And I also see new love here coming as well. This person will be your true love. This person will be your true love. But first here, you need to release this past. You need to love yourself enough to let this past go here, Taros. Okay. Let's see. 
for Taurus Holy Spirit. We have the six of one here. Very soon here, there is going to be a blessing and abundance that will be coming for you guys here. Someone new is going to show up in your life and this person is going to be a blessing to your life here. I see, um, like I said before, your finances getting off the ground here. I see you um, meeting someone that genuinely loves and care about you. We have the King of Cups here. We have the Hangman, the Hermit, the Nine of Sword, the Ten of Sword. <laughs> we have the Moon. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Sword. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So, Taurus, you could be connecting to an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could also be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Okay. Taurus, I see that someone here is worried about you. They are thinking about you. Or this could be you worried, worrying about your love life here. You want a new beginning. You want someone new. You want to... Um, Start a relationship. You want to be in a relationship or begin a relationship. Some of you could be single and you're kind of worried about your love life here. I feel like there is a, a situation in regards to your love life that in your love life that could be giving you sleepless nights. But I'm being asked to tell you that you should calm down. Very soon things are going to fall into place for you. I see that there could be someone deceptive around you here. This could be um someone you have left. Or this could be someone you're currently dealing with. But it's someone in your energy here that is not being honest with you. This person is acting like they love you, but they don't. Because here we have unrequited love and the king of cups here. You are in love with someone that does not feel the same way about you, Taros. I see disappointments in regards to the situation here. This person is a very childish person. They are not emotionally mature here. So you have to be careful how you are investing in the situation. And I feel like if you have dealt with this person and if you have let them go, this is time to heal from the situation and move forward. But I see this person coming back here. They are not going to let you go just like that because they feel like um you are like they feel like um they know that you have a soft spot for them and this person is taking um due advantage of that. So they are going to come back here. So this is someone that is taking advantage of you here this person could be a younger air sign or a water sign here okay i see that um tara some of you are dwelling heavily on this situation here this disappointment the way this person is treating you how things are not working in your love life you're dwelling heavily too much on that it's time to heal here and let go of the past here i see that some of you are very unclear about what is going on in regards to your love life i see isolation some of you could be keeping away keeping yourself away from other people like isolating yourself from other people i see that some of you are single right now mm -hmm. there are some of you could be single and i feel like um being single for you is by choice here where you're trying for some of you is by choice where you're trying to figure out yourself and figure out where your love life is going here taros okay we have the hermit here i see a lot of thinking the hermit and um the hangman here i see a lot of deliberation going on here taros you're dwelling too much on this situation this is something that you need to release for something good to come in here you need to let this go you need to release this because i see too much dwelling and deliberation here on this issue here downplaying how this person treated you how they hurt you i feel like it's not going to do you any good here you just need to heal and move forward here okay this could have been a third party situation we have the queen of wands and the queen of sword here taros you need to cut this out and move forward so that a new energy a new person can come in because by dwelling on this situation you're blocking someone new from coming into your life let's clarify to get more insight holy spirit why is the six of wands here for taros holy spirit why is the six of wands here for taros okay i see oh where taros i see abundance coming here but that is going to happen after you have completely cleared your energy here some of you i feel this could be pregnancy if you're being looking forward to conceiving i see that happening but i see growth here surrounding you guys i see um uh, abundance surrounding you guys here let's see why is the king of cups here for taros holy spirit okay we have the three of pentacles here someone is playing with your feelings here taros this person has someone else here this person could be using you here we have a thought why you need to put an end to this and move forward for something new to come why is the hangman here for taros holy spirit we have a seven of wands. Stop holding on to this. Stop dwelling on this situation. 
stop feeling um because this is how some of you are feeling you're feeling left out in the cold you're feeling played by this person you're feeling like um why me why should this happen to me you need to let go because you're holding on to what this person did here and that is a blockage for you guys you need to forgive yourself heal and move forward from this situation why is the hermit here for tarot soul and spirit we have the sun here tarot stop blocking yourself here from um experiencing true happiness by dwelling in the past why is the nine of sword here for tarot soul and spirit we have the eight of pentacles here it's time to grow here and heal I feel that is what today's message is all about. In order for something new, something beautiful to come in, you need to heal from your past here, Tyrus. Stop sucking over this person. They are not worth it. We have the Six of Swords. Now it's time to move. It's time to go. But I see them coming back though. I keep saying it. I see this person coming back. Because they feel like um this person, they feel like they have you. Like they got you. They feel like they have you in their palms here. That is how I feel. This person is very, very emotionally manipulative. And they enjoy doing that. So I feel like that is what is going to bring this person back. So it's left for you if you want them back in your life. If you want to accept them back. But like I said, I see strongly a fire sign coming. This person is a very responsible, sensible and wealthy person. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Aries precisely. That is how you will know. This person would be an Aries. But it could be a Leo or Sagittarius as well. But I feel Aries strongly. Here. Let's see. Why is the moon here for Taurus Holy Spirit? We have the Magician here. Okay. The moon and the Magician. Let's clarify that. Why is the moon and the Magician here for Aries? Taurus, I feel someone's energy here. This person is very angry with you gemini energy prices energy they are very angry with you here hmm they are i feel like they were the one that um treated you bad they were the one that hurt you but they are the one that is still holding grudges against you they feel like you wronged them you did something wrong to them and see why is the queen of wands here for taros holy spirit we have the judgment yeah, someone will be coming back here for sex. They'll be coming back for hookups here. They'll be coming back for some good time with you here, Taurus. Yeah. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Wands here? We have the seven. What was I saying? Someone here will be coming back for some sex. For some booty. Okay, let's see. Why is the Page of Swords here for Aries? So this spirit. We have the strength here. Someone here cannot stay away. It could be either for the sex or it could be um, either for the fact that um, they feel like they have you and they have this control over you and they know how to play with your emotions. So for that reason, this person without you, they are bored and they are coming back here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Taurus Holy Spirit? We have the King of Wands here. There. <laughs> Okay, Aries. We have the King of Wands, the King of Sword, and the Knight of Cups here. Someone here will be coming to tell you how they feel. But I see whatever this person is saying to you is not coming from the heart. It's coming from their head. This is something that they have rehearsed. This is something that they have planned here. Just to get you laid for some of you. Or just to, you know, for selfish reason here. I see them bringing forward their love offer for selfish reason. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Tyrus, Holy Spirit? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Tyrus? Okay, Tyrus, it's time to move forward here. It is time to go because you're moving forward into the Ten of Pentacles, into abundance. You're leaving behind the Five of Wands conflict here. Feeling used, feeling disrespected. That is what you're, li you're leaving behind. And you're moving into complete happiness. Emotional, financial stability here, coming here. I see celebration here. I see you gaining clarity. But I feel like it is time to cut off that cord and move forward here. Because I see commitments coming for you guys here. This is your energy here. Commitments coming with someone that truly and genuinely cares about you. Mm. 
all right Saros, this is all i have for you if you like this type of reading do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment to let me know how you feel about this reading um personal reading personal guidance information for that will be in the description box thank you guys for your love and support i will see you in my next video bye